So to get started, what is the STM32WL and what is the added value for you, the customer? Well, the STM32WL is the world's first LoRa-enabled system on chip. This means that a best-in-class ultra-low power STM32L4 architectural basis and a LoRa-enabled radio are embedded on the same silicon die. So the key points to keep in mind about such breakthroughs are the following ones. First of all, the chip is multi-modulation capable, meaning it's compatible with LoRa modulation, of course, but also with GFSK, GMSK and BPSK. This means further compatibility with proprietary protocols and various standardized ones, such as LoRaWAN, of course, or Sigfox, for instance. Secondly, the deep integration factor of the long-range wireless STM32WL definitely leads to massive cost savings in terms of bill of materials, as it helps users to move from a dual-chip approach, MCU plus radio transceiver, to a single silicon device. Thirdly, the STM32WL is sold in a fully open way, meaning end users will always have the possibility to implement whatever protocol they want onto it. It thus provides a huge applicative flexibility. Of course, we made sure STM32WL is ready for the Internet of Things, as usual safety and security features have been implemented inside the chip. We could think, for example, of anti-temper, firmware IP protection capabilities, or AES 256 bits, to name just a few. Last but not least, we hit the market in January 2020 with a BGS73 package, but other packages will come down the road, always with our 10 years longevity commitment. So let's have a look at our multicast of a LoRaWAN demonstration. Let's imagine we are right now in a retail store. We have today in front of us two different groups of three STM32WL each. They represent our customers' devices' fleets, or rather sub-fleets, I should say, Group A and Group B. Each of these STM32WL boards has an e-paper mounted on it, showing a price tag. Group A represents several price tags for umbrellas, and Group B represents tags for books. All these devices are able to communicate on LoRaWAN network. In the framework of this demonstration, LoRaWAN frames, uplink and downlink are exchanged through our commercially available and STM32F7 based development gateway. On the network side, everything runs on Actility's ThinkPark suite of LoRaWAN core network software enriched with ThinkPark reliable multicast server. We have created a dedicated graphic user interface to update pricing independently. So now, if I select a 20% discount on the umbrella group and update the pricing, we can notice only the related group is being updated. Same story with the book group, let's apply a 50% discount. Here again, only the corresponding tags are updated. So that's the basic idea of multicast over lower one, being able to dynamically associate whatever devices to a fleet and update your different fleets as you wish on the same network. So in case you had any doubt about LoRaWAN multicast really happening, this fully functional demonstration on Actility's remote servers with our commercially available STM32WL microcontrollers is showing how we match a market need with concrete use cases. Naturally, today's demonstration is fully compliant with LoRa Alliance recommendation for multicast inside the LoRaWAN standards. And last but not least, I guess you are wondering where you can get the STM32WL microcontrollers. Well, that's very easy. For now, you just need to contact your local sales office and ST Sales and Marketing will be able to grant you access right to STM32WL chip orders, plus also to our introductory ecosystem, which is constituted of nuclear boards, software tools, and our production-ready and worldwide certified LoRaWAN stack for STM32WL. Of course, as usual, everything will be available at distribution level in a few months from now, for mass market release.